So when I first um, get a patient who I definitely are going to diagnose with um, hypertension, or even if they have um, pre-hypertension, I like to get an initial evaluation with some um, basic blood tests, which normally includes a complete blood count, a complete metabolic panel, which would give me an idea of their kidney function, whether they have any underlying um, liver issues, whether they may have diabetes, whether they have other um, endocrine issues, such as high calcium. I also like to get a thyroid test to make sure they don't have hyper or hypothyroidism. It's important to get a urinalysis to make sure the patient doesn't have any protein because if you have protein in the urine, that can um, signify that the patient may have underlying um, kidney problems. And um, I also try to get a hemoglobin A1C, especially if I think the patient may be at high risk for developing um, diabetes if they have a family history or if they have um, obesity or if they're not very active. I try to get um, a baseline to see whether or not they have um, underlying diabetes. I like to get a baseline EKG too to make sure that they don't have any underlying um, arrhythmias or any stresses on their heart since um, the heart tends to have to work harder whenever a patient has long-standing um, hypertension. Usually I won't order a chest x-ray unless I feel that the patient may have any other underlying problems. If they um, may have, say for example, swelling of their legs, I may get a chest x-ray just to make sure there's no um, fluid being built up in their lungs, but usually that's not something I normally do. If I feel like they may have secondary causes of hypertension, for example, if they have been treated already by numerous doctors who can't get their blood pressure under control, I may order some um, extra blood tests to rule out other secondary causes of hypertension, which I mentioned um, previously. Um, sometimes I may get a renal ultrasound just to make sure they don't have any underlying renal problems.